Um, I suppose the next question is, are people ready to buy here in Turkey? In other words, once you come to Turkey and you find a property, things move quite quickly, don't they? It's a mm-hmm. fairly rapid process right. to buy. And so there are some things that people perhaps ought to be thinking about before they even come to look at properties, so that when they see a property they want to buy, they're ready to move straight away. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking about things like, for example, who should be the owner of the property? Mm-hmm. And there are some big issues there, aren't there? Yeah, the, I think ownership, ownership structure has a couple of impacts. Uh, I mean, firstly, it is important for the taxation. Um, the secondly, um, if you are not a married couple uh, but living together, so uh, it should be sorted in a like an equal share what your will is to purchase that property. Um, so the ownership has to be structured before you make your decision. Because sometimes people, if you are buying a really high-value property, you might be considering it putting a Turkish company name because of the tax exemptions. Yes. So, or you might decide to put the property in the name of your children because if you do that, they won't have to inherit it later and pay exactly. tax on the inheritance. There are lots and lots of choices. Options, yeah. Now, we do have a separate video about uh, how to choose who should be the owner of a property. And that's available, of course, at www.guides.global. Uh, so have a look at that if you, if you wish. Um, so that's who should be the owner of the property. Other things to think about. Um, how are you going to finance this? Are you going to want a, a mortgage uh, here in Turkey or are you going to fund it in some other way? Um, and also getting your paperwork ready. All of these things should be done ideally before you come to look for properties. Yeah, um, these are your personal like decisions that you need to make beforehand. And also, uh, when you decided to buy a property, I think you should also learn something about the procedure and the customs in yes. Turkey, because some of our customs might be really uh, scary for a European person, like an under declaration, for example. Yes. Um, so, uh, and also, I think they should uh, gather some information about the buying a property in Turkey process before they make decision as yes. well. Hence, looking at this video. <laughs> Why not? Um, and just picking up on, on one of those things, um, the uh, question of the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you're going to buy a property in the name of your children, then when you come to Turkey, you need to have all the details of your children and copies of their passports and all sorts of other things, because that will be needed. Yeah, what is going to be needed is uh, whoever is purchasing the property should be either in the presence of the land registry or should be appointing a proxy. The power of attorney. Power of attorney, either a solicitor or someone else, uh, like a... Of course, the solicitor will be advisable if non national involved. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, either you need a documentation, like a proof of ID uh, of that person, if they will be signing by themselves, if there will be a proxy involved, then the power of attorney will be required. Okay. Now, you've already t- touched on the process. The process of buying a property in Turkey is completely different from the process of buying a property in your own country. Yeah. Whether you come from England or the United States or France or Spain, it is going to be different from what you're used to at home. Yeah, because we don't do that before the notaries. We have a land registry system. So you just have to accept that. And people say, oh dear, is it going to be dangerous because it's different? The answer is no, it's not dangerous. It's just different. different. And in some ways, actually, I think it's better than the systems that certainly we use in England and are used perhaps in Spain. So... Don't be frightened of the difference, just accept it as something that is different. Yeah, I think the, uh, the paperwork basis it is almost the same, the, yes. just the authority is different. Yes. And uh, to be frank, uh, the being at the land registry while they are purchasing is much more safer because you can ask any question to the officer when you are purchasing if you have any hesitates and they, they are the correct um, entity to answer your questions properly. Well, well,